Bruno appears to be in deep thought. Something troubles me about the wounded knight's account. He claims he was he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate. The main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we arrived in Wiper Front, I see no travels arrived by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said, caught a glimpse of silhouette and illuminated by the light of the city. We should reply that Quizzler came from the north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but a deep chasm. So means your Jolo is not misremembering the Inquisitor's behavior at night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. Alrighty. Here we go once again. Oh boy, here we go. A little bit of fall damage, I'm good. Ooh. Little dragon there. Oh boy. Dead body. Oh boy. Let's see here. Tell me I'm dropping frame rates again. Oh no. Dragon and the Inquisitor both dead. This is not good. No. You found something, did it? You don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let me see it. I show your dead body in a bloody and cyclical Oh, it makes what appears to be official papal appointment to the position of inquiry. Oh no. Given the contents of the encyclical, I believe you just made a, the acquaintance of the real Inspector Guliame. He will come to Carthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if it were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appointment? While this is still incontrovertible proof that the Inquisitor's imposter, we still have yet to discern his true identity, or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Kanu, before he learns that this deception has been discovered. You're damn skippy. Alrighty. Blood for blood. Since Lord Drilma have already been turned against us, I fear that this encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But well, why pursue a man so quick to discard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony that supports our claim, yes, mayhap the only way left to us confront Sir Jolo with the evidence you discovered and see if it helps recall the truth of that knight. If a man as a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. By giving a man PTSD. Oh, come on. I'll know you, cold-hearted son of a bitch. Are you returned? Is there something else you want to ask? Inquisitor is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That cannot possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You'd have me believe that that is all a lie. If you're certain of your other story is true, then go speak with Sir Pernia. She was at the Eastern Gate tonight. She helped the Inquisitor carry me here. 
but I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Oh, come on. Hey, I... You, I do not believe I know you, sir. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Got something for you to see, girl. Are you in the habit of showing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Mm-hmm. You shall be doubted, woman. You know, don't you? If you were to take me, I prayed this day would come. As soon as Shalo gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Dravinian abominations lashed out at him, nearly killed him right then and there. Drew my sword and rushed to his side, strangled to see the enemy. But what came at me in the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He knew things about me, about my family, secrets I n had never told another. He said if I had kept his confidence, Jorjolo and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer imaginable horrors before they died. But at the last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His moves marked him as an inquisitor. But I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jello to the infirmary, and on his first night at the White Burn Front, Inquisitor Jolene was heralded as a hero. Soon after the accusations, countless men and women of good moral standing seized whilst in possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillmont and wanted to put an end to this madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, so I did nothing until Lord Franklos accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast white belt front. So I took several from the chest and planted them in shipments bound for Scoffar Locks, as I hoped they were discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Helenart, thus ex exonerating Lord Frankel and casting doubt on the other recent trials. But that is the entire truth, I swear. Helene, forgive me for not acting sooner. So you planted them. Oh my god. Why? All those people are dead because you didn't say anything. And you planted those things against the people. <sighs> foolish, foolish people. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. I got something for you to look at, Bubba. There have been very good explanation why you are carrying these rosaries. But where did you find this papal encyclical? Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before I have heard such an unbelievable tale, but this evidence and your testimony could have no other explanation. I misjudged you and your friends, Kalanu, and for that I deeply apologize. I permit you to enter the outpost, but first, I need to beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. Damn right I want to. Let's see here. Alright, let's see. Time to bring in that man to justice. Heretic among us. Thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hell's take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, there may be time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Kalanu. Together, let's put an end to this imposterous heresy once and for all. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Here we go. Good to have you with us, sir. When Drillmon arrives... We are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, he will need to use force. Are you prepared for the eventuality? I'm ready to use force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Needn't trouble, tremble so much, Alf. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Helene's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you, I have never questioned the teachings of Helene. Inquisitor, re release the maid and come with us. 
My Lord Drillamont, what is the meaning of this interruption? You're aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I name thee heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Guillaume, and countless innocents. You're a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Blase, motherfucker. Oh, grave allegations indeed. You will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drillmont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? Whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade? You speak to me of its guardian innocence? Ha! All are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillamont, then come, let us see how each guardian steel fares against Dravinian Fang and Claw. Is it will fail? Nope, I will never flee from that dragon. And dead dragon. Finally. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> My glamours dispelled. Your plants lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words carefully, for they will be your last. <laughs> you may not recall many ish guardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been replayed with blood. For and for that I am content. My only regret that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will have rend you asunder, and when you are dead, white bell front shall fall. Defiant to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His oak deserves not better. Damn, that is cold. Damn. Klanu, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid matter. You never should have been asked to intervene in his guardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which brought you to our midst. It's past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray, visit me at Whiteburn Front and bring your associates. Time to get back to the story. Where have you been, Kalanu? Hmm. The false inquisitor has been slain. Has he? Well, his was a tale old, like to end the bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in the long line of fortune impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. Alphano is eager to enter the Stone Vigil. I am sure you will agree it is past time we enter the Stone Vigil. Pray Lord, pay Lord Drillmo a visit and remind him of his obligations to us. Sid and I will follow him on. Alrighty. Here we go. Back to work. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Has not been for you the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Guillaume, but still be among us, free to pray among the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand. But you understand, it seemed too much to hope that the silence of Seventh Dawn still lived, to say nothing of Master Garland. Never have been happier to have been proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying for you to know someone has to write a measure of enjoyment from your error. Smart ass, Alphano. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter Stone Vigil and retrieve our airship. 
Yes, yes, of course. It's very least that I could do, given all that you have done for us. Entering the outpost is the least of our concerns, I fear. Speak of Dravanius and how it holds a ruin? In part, yes. I should explain. Shortly after you first arrived, I had my men to scour the old records. They confirmed that the abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned in the stone vigil the following days uh, following days the calamity. As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in the custody within the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurances that it has not been removed in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin has served the Vanian foothold in Carthus, from which they have struck out with us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have yet been able to drive been unable to drive them out. I cannot say when the situation will change. Or how it will change, forgive me, Lord Drelamon, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without Ishgardian aid. Hey! Well, that may be for the best. Well, of course it would be the best for you. None of your soldiers died and it will be basically for adventurers to take care of you. That's bullshit. I will inform Sir Nethelane of your impending visit. May Haloni guide you, Scions. Holy shit. Come on. Here we go. <sighs> Back to work. Hail, Clown, Lord Dolomont has surprised me of the situation. You may enter the stone vigil whensoever you will. 